Good afternoon, this is Robert Ricks with the National Weather Service in Slidell with your weekly weather briefing on this Thursday afternoon, 2 o'clock. Uh, right now we're looking at unseasonably warm weather continuing through this weekend and early part of next week. Uh, we do have a couple of fronts coming in and they're not bringing much in the way of cooler weather, but it may bring some much needed rain by the time we get to the middle of next week. We do have some easterly winds that are kind of persisting across the coastal waters and across the coastal plains and as a result we are getting some coastal flooding issues and they'll have a coastal flood advisory posted for tonight with the high tide coming in overnight and the tropics continue to remain active we're up to number 27 in the atlantic basin hurricane epsilon still lurking out just east of the bermuda island and um, it so it's still with us and as as a result we still have an active tropical season underway so looking at the tropics, you can see Hurricane Epsilon is now a Category 1 hurricane. It was a Category 3 major hurricane yesterday about this time, uh, reaching up to about 110 miles an hour, sustained winds. It's down to about 80 miles an hour now, and it's going to start accelerating to the northeast rather quickly and it's expected to be all the way up to about Ireland by, uh, say, Saturday and Sunday. So that's going to be a fast-moving system once it clears the Bermuda Island. Uh, we're looking at a suspect area that's over the Car Caribbean Sea south of Cuba. Right now, it's just indicated to be maybe a 10% chance, uh, not too terribly crazy as far as development potential goes. It does have to cross Cuba, and as a result, anything that's left of that will probably get sheared apart once it reaches the Bahamas. So, but the bottom line is, and the good news is, there's no immediate threat for the Gulf of Mexico at this time. Having said that, don't want to quite drop the guard on this season just yet. We still have a few more weeks, maybe four to six more weeks to go. Uh, before we can truly say that we're probably in the clear. Uh, we get these fronts this time of the year, they come in weak, and if they do lurk around the Gulf a little bit, you can get some development on the tail end of these fronts that possibly can develop. Historically, we've had a few do, do that late in the season, Ida being one of them in, in recent times, and even you know Nate and, and Olga recently. So those things we, do, we still have to keep in mind as we move on through the rest of the season. We don't have any severe weather outlook today, uh, mainly just general thunder, and we are seeing on our radar right now a few spotty showers and, thunder and isolated thunderstorms trying to get going, mainly around the tidal lakes, and that's in, in response to the sea breeze and lake breeze that's going on this afternoon. Uh, that should die off and uh, dissipate by shortly after sunset, so if there is going to be any thunder, it'll be in the next hour or two. Looking at our storm total rainfall for the next seven days, um, Again, we're looking at a couple of fronts coming through. There'll be a little more organized coverage perhaps tomorrow with one front coming in, but it's going to be weakening as it gets into the area. So we're not looking at a great deal of rainfall, maybe tenth to a quarter of an inch perhaps. Uh, but we are looking at a stronger front coming in for next Wednesday. And with that, it's going to be settling into the area a little bit slower, a little more robust, and hopefully some meaningful rainfall that does take place. We're these totals that you're seeing in the yellows and oranges, that's two to three inches of rainfall on average across the Gulf Coastal counties and even into extreme eastern Louisiana. Uh, it might be a little bit of a one to two inch amount accumulated. Uh, again, this will be mainly next week. The rest of the area seems like it's still going to be relatively dry, say an inch or less uh, through the period. We do have uh, these easterly winds that's been persistent for the past couple of days and uh, will continue to be so tonight and at least tonight and perhaps even a little bit more into tomorrow before they softened up significantly. As a result, we've seen some couple of high tide cycles already where it's exceeded uh, flood levels and we've had some minor nuisance coastal flooding. We're going to see that with one more, at least one more high tide cycle tonight. So as a result, we are going to go with a coastal flood advisory. They're running a effect mainly from 6 p.m. tonight through about noon tomorrow and that's from primarily east facing shores Hancock County Bay St. Louis area all the way around to uh, lower Lafourche the Port Fouchon and Grand Isle areas so uh, those places have reported some minor nuisance flooding the past couple of nights and we'll see it one more night at least and we'll evaluate and reassess for tomorrow see if it needs to be done for the, the following night as well but generally speaking, we're looking at tides running about one to one and a half feet above normal for the next couple of tide cycles. Throw a little climatology here just to give a feel for, you know, this abnormality that we've had so far in, in October. You can see temperature wise in Baton Rouge, we've had below normal temperatures in the first few days of the month. But since then, it's been near, at least near normal 
and then lately even above normal on temperatures. That's going to be with us for at least another two, three days before it might start cooling back down to near normal levels. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're feeling more like late August, early September as opposed to truly you know, deep into October. Bat rainfall though, this is a, a little bit of a different story. Baton Rouge area, we're looking at um, the brown line you see on the, the slope there, that's the normal rainfall accumulated over a year since January 1. Janu uh, and the actual accumulated rainfall is the green shaded area. As you can see, it's been hovering right near the normal line at least through about late June and then it's gone above normal since then. And it's kind of like leveled off. So we're, we're trending back towards near normal tendencies in Baton Rouge for, for as far as rainfall goes. Temperatures in New Orleans, very similar. Uh, nothing different here than what we've seen in Baton Rouge already. Above normal temperatures in recent days. That's going to continue to be the case through early next week. But the rainfall you can see, it's been below normal for a better part of the year in New Orleans area and south of the lake. And then say since July 1st, it did go above normal. And again, it's trending back towards near normal once again. So a little bit more rainfall could be used uh, in this case um, to, to avoid getting into some deficits later in the year. And then uh, finally on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, uh, this is Gulfport in general, Gulfport Biloxi area. Same tendency on the trend on temperatures. We had below normal temperatures beginning of the month, near normal in the middle. Um, it, a couple of days where it dipped uh, cooler in the morning hours, but then now we're trending back to, to above normal temperatures the closing few days here. And then that's going to once again continue until early next week. And then the rainfall, this is where it's more telling on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The rainfall has been below normal accumulated since the beginning of the year. It still remains so several inches below normal where it should be for this time of the year. Uh, so the two to three inch average rainfall that we're looking for next week will actually be welcomed rainfall that will kind of trend to get things closer to the near normal curve um, once again. It, it should that materialize for next week. And that, that's what we're kind of hoping for. So in summary, we do have a coastal flood advisory that will be issued for this evening and through Friday morning for the, at least for one more high tide cycle and we'll reassess and see if it needs to be going out again for Friday night, Saturday morning as well. We do have a normally warm temperatures at least through next this weekend into early part of next week. Do have a couple of fronts coming through. The first one not so, so terribly much to get excited over. We do get some needed rainfall perhaps for the next one, uh, a slight cool down as well on temperatures. And then the tropics remain active, but the immediate threat to the Gulf of Mexico is not there, thank goodness. And um, well, we'll hope that it holds true for the rest of the season. So with that, that's all we have for this week. Thank you for attending and have a safe and pleasant weekend and we'll see you next week.